We're going to do multiplication now, and we're going to do it just on paper using the categories like we did with the checkerboard, but we'll only write down our final answer. So let's do a two-digit number times a two-digit number first. Let's do 32 times 41. So let's take a look at our units. We know that's a multiplication we need to do, and it's the only units multiplication. So we, I'm going to connect them with this little arc, just so we can see. We've got units times units, which gives us, so that's 2 times 1, which gives us 2. And we can write that down, because we know it's the only units multiplication. Now, for tens, I have two ways to do that. We've got the three tens times units, and we have the two units times four tens. So I'll indicate that here. So let's do three times, three tens times one, which is three, plus four, uh, two units times four tens, which is going to be eight tens plus the three we had, which is 9, 10, 11 tens. So we're going to just write down the 1 10 and remember that we have another one that's going to be in hundreds because we still need to do our hundreds multiplication. And in this, there's only one. We have that tens times tens gives us hundreds. So uh, 3 tens times 4 tens gives us 12 hundreds uh, plus the one that we had. So 13, and I can write down 13 hundreds because that's the end of our multiplication. So we did 32 times 41, and the answer is 1,312. And we did it all on paper and in our heads. Let's try a three digit by a three digit. Let's do... 312 times 423. Okay. So we know we still just have the one way that we will get units. So we can do that multiplication. That's uh, two units times three units gives us six. But We've got a couple of ways to get our tens here, right? We have the tens times the uh, units, and we have the units times the tens. So let's see what that is. We've got one ten times three, that gives us three tens, plus two units times two tens, so that's another four tens, so that's seven tens. We can write that one down. because we know those are the two ways we get tens. Now, there are more than that for getting hundreds. Let's see what we've got. We've got hundreds times units. We've got units times hundreds. And we have uh, tens times tens. So let's do that multiplication. Uh, you, let's do the hundreds times units. That's nine hundreds plus two times four hundreds. That's another eight. So that's 17 plus two, 19. So let's write down the nine, but we're going to remember that 1,000 and wait until we have our thousands multiplications to do that one. All right, so for thousands multiplications, what do we have here? What's going to give us thousands? So hundreds times tens will give us thousands, and tens by, times hundreds will give us thousands. So let's do those multiplications. We've got three hundreds times two tens is going to give us six thousands, and one ten times four hundreds is another four. So that's ten plus the one we're remembering. So that's eleven. So I'll write down the one 
but then we'll remember that one ten thousand because we have one last multiplication to do here, which is our our hundreds times hundreds, which gives us ten thousands. So three hundred times four hundred gives us twelve ten thousands plus the one we're remembering is thirteen. So we've got our answer. 312 times 423 equals 131,976. You might want to do more of these.